What's up guys, Jake Rowell and Rule coming back at you with another video and today we're rebuilding the Buffalo Bills on, realistically rebuilding, as I should say, the Buffalo Bills on Madden 21. This team is a, had a pretty solid team, it has a very, very solid coach in Sean McDermott, but I say it's time to go over the team. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and subscribe. So you don't miss out on any content. Now, uh, this team was pretty solid this past season. With major improvement by a young QB, 25-year-old man, Josh Allen. He is a beast. He can run, he can throw, he's got a cannon, 99 throw power. Josh Allen is a beast. Running game. Uh, there's not a whole lot of him, to be honest. Devin Singletary is five foot seven. I did not know that. And he is honestly not that good. But it's just he just is. And he I don't think he's all that good. Zag Moss with limited touches was pretty solid, but ultimately he's just not that good either. De but the guy who is good is Stefan Diggs. Came in this season and balled out out him and Devonte adams were the two best receivers in the league no doubt about it cole beasley was very solid this past season as a slot weapon second best receiver john brown let's get the whole team in here as uh, john brown also in there gabriel davis came on as of late and then Deion Dawkins, pretty solid left tackle. The O-line's all right. Dawson Knox is a pretty solid tight end. Forgot to mention, on the offensive line, there are a ton of free agents, so that is no good. Speaking of free agents, Matt Milano's a free agent defensively, and Levi Wallace. I believe Josh Norman is as well, but I'm not going to bring him back. I looked, honestly, before this, and Matt Milano wanted about 10 mil a year for someone who is not an edge rusher, so I just can't. Levi Wallace... So we will bring back uh, Jerry Hughes, getting up there in age. He's going to have to get traded for sure. Ed Oliver is pretty solid, but not a whole else there at IDL. Um, probably going to start AJ Epineza over Trent Murphy because Trent Murphy is also a free agent, leaving our team. Tredavious White, one of the best young shutdown corners in football. You know, uh, Levi Watt. They don't have another true number two boundary corner, though. Micah Hyde, pretty solid. The linebacking core is all right. Tremaine Edmonds is a massive human being playing middle linebacker. And then their safeties are very solid with Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer. So. We do have to bring back Levi Wallace, and then we'll go into NFL free agency where the Bills could probably sign another corner I'm gonna say Levi Wallace is back probably and he is so let's go free agency in free agency we need a corner linebacker O-line probably those are our top needs Levante David in here I don't really think he goes here like Shaquem Griffin would be a pretty big get but Desmond King we haven't gone after him in a while for a while I think Desmond King is a pretty solid free agent signing. Four-year deal, bring down that money a little bit. I think De Desmond King would be a really solid addition. First wave of free agency, we got Samsung Abukam. She's the guy that I went after for probably really cheap. Right? Uh, with the Lions are going after us on Desmond King. So I'll bring that up. But what we do have to do is download my 2021 NFL draft class. Go download it. 2021 Jake. Just updated it yesterday as I'm recording this. So. Check it out. Please. And uh, I'll have my bet on. Oh, this is annoying. Why is that a thing? I'll fix it though. Probably in the next update, so stay tuned. We did not end up getting Desmond King as we had a big lead on the lines for him. I don't know why he would end up signing with them. 
come to Buffalo instead of Detroit, Desmond. But let's enter this draft where I'm going to have to cut some players first off here. Um, I'll show you guys, like, the first few picks. Um, man, our O-line is terrible right now. We got Lee Smith playing there, but Lee Smith is not going to play there for long because he's got to get cut. I went into the trade center. We had some guys that just need to get off our team because their contracts are terrible. John Brown and Colby are about to get traded in the very near future. Probably not this draft, though. Uh, Jerry Hughes and Mario Aston both going to get traded. They both have ridiculous contracts. I don't care the penalty. And I'm also probably going to release AJ Klein. So I just forgot to pause the draft, which was no good. You guys probably know uh, some stuff happened. As first pick was Trevor Lawrence. Second pick, Zach Wilson. Third pick, Justin Fields to the Dolphins. This game sometimes. Panay to the Falcons. Bengals draft Jamar Chase. And then the Eagles go Trey Lance. Four QB, the top four off the board. Top six. We'll do top ten. Lions go Devontae Smith. Panthers, Patrick Sertan. Broncos go Kyle Pitts. When they just took a tight end in the first round. Uh, like. I, I don't remember how many years ago, but, and then the, uh, so that was a pretty solid first few picks of the draft board, because I could see that actually happening in real life, the way that just went, uh, Bills, oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude, oh, no, Zayvon Collins on the board, I don't think the Bills pass up on that, I mean, I think they could also go Najee Harris with this pick. I ultimately think we need help at outside linebacker too much. Zayvon Collins on the board. We don't pass up 74 overall with him, Dev. You love to see it. With this pick here in the end of the second round, there are some solid players here, like Trey Smith, who I could see this. I'm taking with this pick. I'm ultimately going to go Jalen Twyman out of pit. We need help at defense tackle. 72 raids, star better Dev. Not too bad. He's going to be... Are there DT alongside Ed Oliver? These receivers on the board are killing me right now. But I'm not going to go receiver. I don't need it that badly. But with this pick, I think I'm going to go... Uh, Sante Samuel is tempting. I, I... This is a tough pick. There's some pretty solid players on the board still. I think I'm going to go with Sante Samuel out of Florida State. 70 rays, star better dev. I gotta move him up a little bit, but that's a pretty solid pick. And that will end the draft. This is the team heading into the first season. We have a way more holes than I thought we did. Just kind of interesting. But overall, I still think we should play pretty well. Uh, wait. Oh, no, I don't want him starting over at Oliver. As what is actually happening? Trying to get it all over up. But. Okay, finally that, that worked out. But gotta go over to specialist. What is Asante Samuels returning? Do, do, did I give him high returning? Well, hey, he has 90 returning. Whew, that, I gotta fix that. Thanks, EA Sports. But, um... No, Cole Weasley in the slot. I'm going to put stuff on Diggs there, actually. To turn into a beast, Bootcam Collins not going to be a rush end. Why do you want Saban Collins to be a rush end? I'm going to fix this specialist. These are terrible. Madden, I'm, I'm telling you sometimes, it gets under my skin. So we're 2-4 and four at the midseason mark. Uh, not ideal, as we all know. But... Josh Allen's a free agent. Micah High is a free agent who I could probably bring back. John Brown is on the move. K. Waddle has star better dev in my draft class. Just getting out of there. Tremaine Edmonds, we do have to bring back. And Teron Johnson, I would also like to bring back. Micah Hyde is an 86 overall already. We have a ton of cap room, by the way. So I'm going to add Micah Hyde in the John Brown trade.
Micah Hyde, John Brown, a six-round picker, headed to New York for number 12 overall. Got to bring back our stud QB that is Josh Allen. He went so much. It's okay because he is back long-term. Tremaine Edmonds also needs to come back. Six-year deal is fine with me. He's only 23 years old. Very young. For now, getting his first real NFL contract. Teron Johnson is also back. Love to see it. Change the play bucks. Head to the playoffs. So we didn't end up making the postseason. Finishing 6-10. and ten. The division was pretty competitive, though. As Allen... Could have won MVP. He had the insane numbers. Our defense actually was a problem. Oh my, Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs should win MVP. We had the, one of the worst defenses in football. Stefan Diggs should win MVP. I, I just saw Josh Allen win MVP. I'm not, I, I, I completely forgot what I was doing. Josh Allen was unreal, like we saw. MVP, hopefully we'll go off to Superstar X Factor. Love to see it. Rushing. Singletary was garbage. Uh, receiving, though, uh, Stephon Diggs was unreal, if you know what that means. Uh, he is unreal, though, to be completely honest. Dawson Knox was very good. Colby Zoo was solid. Didn't have anyone else really get involved as a receiver. Tremaine Edmonds, 142 tackles, three picks, a half, one and a half sacks. Jalen Twyman, Ed Oliver had 22 tackles for loss. Wow. Uh, interceptions, three for Edmonds, two for Jaquan Johnson. Well, I'm going to be honest, I'm not familiar with. Uh, Saving Collins with two as well. Love to see it. Teron Johnson, I guess, had one. Josh Allen, as we know, won the MVP award. Uh, NFC Adams played AFC, run the AFC. Cam Newton. What? Just confused. Come on, show Stefan Diggs some love. Defense player of the year is Miles Jack. Devin uh, Tremaine's up there, number two. Love to see it. Offense review is Zach Wilson. Uh, no bills. Defense rookie of the year, Caden Stearns. Interesting. Saban Collins actually, though, finishes up there, number two. And Jalen Twyman. And they're at number six. It seemed like we were pretty solid for the awards, but defense was garbage, so we could not end up making the postseason. Let's go to the Super Bowl week. I th- I thought I just saw the Browns and the Jets, and I almost lost it in the Super Bowl. And I was like, uh, no, it's the Packers. I don't even know why I would think that would be a thing. As Cole Beasley goes in normal, but Josh Allen, as we all know, Goes up to Superstar X Factor. We have a star dev right tackle here. Okay. Defensively, Zavin Collins goes up to Superstar Dev. What I was looking for was for Tremaine Edmonds to go up, and he didn't. But uh, Sam Summa Bootcamp goes down to normal. That's no good. But we're very solid. Let's go to free agency. These will be the three players that I'm going after are in free agency. Uh, Chris Barnes, Wyatt Teller, and Deshaun Elliott. Pretty young star dev players. Chris Barnes accepts, and Deshaun Elliott accepts. So, two pretty big gets. But then, I would also like to uh, trade a few players. I know it's breaking the Madden trade system, but uh, Cole Beasley and Jordan Poyer, and basically a fifth round pick are headed to the um, the team for the Lions for the number one overall pick. Which, I, I know it's cheesy, but I, I, I'm sorry, but that just had to happen. We unfortunately did not get Wyatt Teller fifth year options for Ed Oliver. Eh. He brought no value to the team. 22 tackles for loss, according to the general manager, is not good. 
so uh, that's interesting. But let's go to the draft. We've just made a move with the Las Vegas Raiders, trading down, getting a pretty decent amount of cap, I mean draft capital, with that trade. And there isn't a whole lot within like the top few picks. Besides a pretty insane receiver, so they go with a 70 rated right guard, number one. The Colts go with 69 rated right guard. And the Texans go with a pretty solid player, Bryce Griffith. With this pick, I will be taking Ben Cooper out of Georgia. There, let me tell you something. This draft, there are some pretty solid players. I think I gotta rearrange my draft board. And there's also Bo Jackson, you know, the running back. He's not that good. But uh, I, I just needed to talk about him. Also, these middle linebackers aren't that good. There was another one. I must have not put him on my draft board. But I think we ultimately have to go Ben Cooper. Our uh, wide receivers room right now is kind of lackluster. We just have Stephon Diggs. And then I don't qualify. Gabriel Davis is that good. So Ben Cooper, 76 rated, normal. Not ideal. He's not really that fast. He doesn't really do anything that well except spectacular catch. No way this happened. No way he fell. I was waiting. I ultimately made my decision. Josh Long is too insane. He fell to number ten. The eleven eleventh best player in the like on the draft board. I'm taking Josh Long all day. Seventy six overall. Star better dev, 84 power moves, 84 speed. That is not a bad pick at all. Saints go the player I wanted. I was going to try to trade up for him, but he went too early. He was a 78 overall. Really talented player. Sucks. Mitch Morse and a third round pick are headed to the Ravens for pick number 21. Uh, Still kind of unrealistic. But you got to do what you got to do. We had to move up. And I'm going to take Amir Wiley to go on the other side of our other edge. 77 overall. Normal dev. Already better than the guy. 87 acceleration. And Samsung a boot cam. So I thought that was a not too bad of a pick. With this pick here at the top of the, at the end of the first round, I'm going to go Chris Thorpe out of Virginia Tech. 75 overall with star of better dev. It's not a bad fit at all. He only has 86 strength. This is a pretty refined uh, offensive lineman. So I really like that pick. Here in the second round, we will either be taking... We could go running back as well, though. That's the thing. Emmett, uh, the, this guy. Uh, Emmanuel Dillon. Still on the board. Would not be a terrible pick is Devin Singletary is not anything special but we also could go these guys I think though I'm gonna go Zach Newton 39 reps on the bench he's a massive human being that ran four seven five he's not exactly a great player but the athletic ability is there like what I see 77 overall normal dev is not that bad oh and we have a pick here number 10 as well so that is also a pretty solid get, I guess. As the running back is off the board, Eric Albury is still here, but I'm not going to take him. No way he just went. Oh, I'm so disappointed. It's so tempting to go running back, but I can't when there's a safety available. We need help at safety still. Adrian Oldham out of uh, UCLA. So a pretty solid player. Let's take him. 75 raid with normal is not too bad, especially when you need safety. He'll be all right for a year or two. This is a team heading into the second season. Uh, we're in 81 overall, but I think we have sky high potential. We're looking very solid. The interior of our line is not that great, but I like the rest of our team. I'm not going to play, I'm going to start long, but he's not going to be a rush end, due to the fact that he's only a 67 rated rush end. So, wait, what? Oh, he's a, wait, why is he a 76 rated? 
That doesn't make sense. Actually, I'm going to start him over a boot camp. Uh, that's a bit confusing. I don't know why that's a thing, but let's go to the mid-season mark. Mid-season mark, we are 1-6. and six. Horrific, as our offense doesn't seem to be too bad, according to the yards. Our defense is garbage. We have no running game either. 31st in points scored. Ben Cooper leaves the league in receiving yards. Interesting. I mean, I'm not going to re-sign Devin Singletary. He's not doing nothing. Dawson Knox, I'm probably going to give a contract to. He's been it's pretty solid. Cody Ford is, like, not good. Dawson Knox isn't a bad contract. And Dawson Knox is re-signed, so. Uh... He was the only guy that I wanted to resign, but man, one in six. Terrible. We did not blank the playoffs as you would expect, finishing six and ten. Thirteenth offense, Josh Allen was solid, but not really. Eighteenth defense. Twenty eighth defense, excuse me. Uh thirty first in points scored. Ben Cooper though, very, very solid, like didn't do anything amazing. Wasn't terrible. Rushing. Singletary is not good. Receiving, though. Ben Cooper, a rookie out of Georgia. We took number four overall. Getting some stuff done. Stefan Diggs is going to have to play in the slot. More than likely, defensively, Tremaine Edmonds is just still a beast with 143 tackles. Ten sacks, though, for Jalen Twyman. Love to see it. Eight for Josh Long, who only has star dev. I'm disappointed in him. Interceptions. Three picks for Travis White, two for... Teron Johnson, Chris Barnes, Tande Samuel Jr., one pick for Levi Wallace. I'm frustrated. Mahomes wins MVP. Allen actually finishes in there, number eight, okay. Uh, why do I, I keep going to the NFC? AFC offense play of the year is Patrick Mahomes. Allen not in there. No, he's in there, number four. Defense play of the year, Miles Garrett. Tremaine Edmonds at number four. Offense rookie year is Ben Cooper. Okay. Here we go, Ben. Defense rookie year is Josh Long. A safe, the edge rusher. Number two, Adrian Oldham. Three, Amir Wiley. Yep, top three. And then Zach Newton, defense tackle. Number 10, does Ben Cooper win it? He's at number three. Donovan Peoples Jones is the fourth best receiver in the league. I think Ben Cooper could very easily go up to star dev, which would be huge. The Giants beat the Titans, crushed the Titans in the Super Bowl. Check out some dev increases. Stefan Diggs goes down to superstar. Are you kidding me? Why? EA Sports. Ben Cooper. There we go, Ben. Goes up to star dev. Love to see it defensively. Tremaine Edmonds, superstar dev. Saving Collins down to start. The game frustrates me to death. I get the pass rusher in there. Zach Newton is 24. Jalen Twyman's what, 23? Yeah. Jalen Twyman is younger. It's higher potential. But, you know, let's go to the free agency. I forgot to show you guys who you're going after. We got Kareem Hunt. In the first wave, I'm going after some O linemen because you know you need them. Gotta up my bid on Cody Ford, which I'm not gonna do. So, Mitch Morrison, to be honest, I don't need that bad. So, I'm just gonna go after Juwan Taylor. Hopefully, we get him. Probably won't, though. And we don't. So, He's not going to sign with anyone. Let's go to the draft. I know, not realistic, but uh, it's something on the interior line. We don't really need Sam Summabukam. So that trade worked out. At pick five, I'm probably just going to take 
a defensive tackle as he is apps there are two that are absolutely insane by Enrique Wilder or Dakota Toon. So Enrique Wilder looks like a better player. Dakota Toon, you know, I think I'm going to go with Enrique Wilder. Ran faster, overall better player, and this class is terrible. Wow, I got my hopes up over nothing. Now I'm going to have to pay him insane for being no good at all. I'm in between two players here at the end of the first round, both safeties. But I've ultimately decided Devontae Masson does everything better except, uh, um, what was I going to say? He... Really just the overall better player, I guess, is Devontae Madison. So I will be taking him. No, he's not that good, as we were ex all expecting. Uh, I hate this right now. Rick Juan Shark goes a pick before me. But with this pick, I will be taking Luke Anderson out of LSU, who might actually be good, and he is 76 rated normal dev is not bad at all. And that's probably going to end this draft, because this draft was bad. This is the squad heading into the, um, uh, the, 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 the third season. I don't think we have a bad team at all right now. I think we've built a pretty solid team. Just about finding the good playbook, so. Let's head to the mid-season mark. Mid-season mark, we are 4-2. and two. I love to see it. Top of our division. It was our offense that was uh, underperforming to our offensive standards. But I re-put Stefan Diggs back in the slot, and we should dominate. Stefan Diggs, I will be glad to give him a five-year deal. This contract is, uh, let's just say, massive. But he is back, which is great. Ed Oliver is also a key building block to build around. He is quite expensive for a defensive tackle, but he is also back. I'd like to bring back Gabriel Davis as well. That will be the only other player we do bring back. As Gabriel Davis is pretty cheap considering, like, what he wants, and Gabriel Davis is back. All the guys that are back are I want, so let's head to the playoffs. We made the playoffs going 11-5. and five. I love to see it. Let's check out the stats. Ninth best offense. I'm sure it was all Stefan Diggs. That's what you need. First uh, defense, I burped. And, you know, 11th point scored. You know, Stefan Diggs, best receiver in the league. The best defense. I don't know what I'm doing. Baker Mayfield, we know, wins the MVP award now. Josh Allen's very, very solid rushing. Kareem Hunt, that's all you need. We almost didn't even run it enough with him. Receiving, Stephon Diggs is the best receiver in the league, no doubt about it. Ben Cooper was also very solid, as was Dawson Knox. Gabriel Davis didn't really get involved, but it's okay. Defensively, Tremaine Edmonds was still very, very solid. So let's see some sacks. Ten sacks for Mill Wiley. Looking like a decent player. Jalen Twyman will have so 10. Josh Long with 8. Ed Oliver with 5.5. We were very solid. 5 picks for Trey Davius White. 3 for True Maid Edmonds. 2 for Deshaun Elliott and Levi Wallace. And then the award. Jeremy Mayfield wins MVP. Josh Allen. She's in number 5. I saw it. I got confused. I thought that Connor Eckert guy was part of the Chargers. And I was like, huh? Baker Mayfield wins offense play of the year. Josh Allen up there, number three. Wish Madden worked like in real life where like Stephon Diggs would probably win an offensive player of the year or something, maybe. Miles Garrett wins defensive player of the year. Tremaine Evans in there, number 10. Offensive of the year, Sebastian McCord. Uh, Antonio Means in there. Defensive of the year, Dakota Toon, I saw, was a defensive tackle. The draft, I don't see anyone on part of our team, but very, very solid. Let's see if we can beat the Browns in the wild card. Come on, Bills. And we do. I will hop in 
make the Super Bowl. Let's beat the Ravens Bills. And we do Justin Herbert and the Chargers in the AFC Conference Championship. Come on, Bills. And we don't quite get there. Heartbreaking. Stefan Diggs is back at the Superstar X Factor. We would love to see it. Defensively, Chris Barnes goes up to Superstar Dev. I also love to see it. Uh, I don't see any other real Dev increases, though. As we're going head to free agency. We are only really going after Rodney Hudson in free agency to go play right guard for us more than likely. Let's see. And we got Rodney Hudson, so that's all we need to know. We're gonna go to the draft as well. We did not get our punter that we wanted, but we we really have no holes at this point. But best player available in the draft. With this pick, I'm going to go safety, uh, probably our top position need. He's another 75 rated with normal. What else was I expecting? We only need to take that one pick in the draft, really, because, you know, our team is beast. Mid-season mark, we are 4-2, and two. very, very solid. Um... Uh, I'm not going to worry about bringing guys back yet. But 4-2, and two, not a bad record. I saw that our offense was being kind of sluggish, but I think they'll turn it around. So let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoff. Oh, well, we made the playoffs in a first round bye. We love to see it. 13-3 and three as we were in a competitive division. Imagine we were in a different division. The offense turned it around. We only lost one game in the second half of the season. It looked like it was in Week 17. Eighth defense. Show me Stephon Diggs' numbers. Second in points scored. I'm telling you, Stephon Diggs is the best receiver in football. Josh Allen, only five picks. He was insane. I forgot to look at Kareem Hunt's numbers. Uh, he was solid. Like, you know, there's a fly that is annoying me. But this, these numbers are not... Uh, Stefan Diggs, no one can take his throne. He's the best receiver in the league. Dawson Knox is doing good, as is Ben Cooper. Gabriel Davis is just doing solid. That's just what we need from him. Shemay Evans is very, very solid, as he always will be. Sacks, 13 and a half from Ed Oliver. Show me superstar dev at the end of this season. Wiley with nine, Long with eight, six for Twyman. We are getting pressure. Three picks for Trey Davius White, two for Samuel and Elliott, one for Chris Barnes, Tremaine Evans, and Adrian something. Right? Josh Allen actually wins MVP. I saw Daniel Jones on the Bucks at number two. Uh, that just confuses me. And Jared Goff is still on the Rams, you know. And if he happens by the year, he's Daniel Jones. Oh, well, we're in the AFC, so it is Josh Allen. Yeah, you, you can't deny it. Defensive player of the year, Miles Garrett. Uh, offensive gear, Marco Best. We shouldn't really see anybody. Defensive gear, Chris McKay. Don't have anyone. It's making me sad, but... All our guys on our team are veterans, so we're going to sim this to the divisional round and hop in here against the Chiefs. We have only scored 10 points through almost the entire game, which is not ideal, but our defense has played absolutely insane, so. Diggs on the slant. He's in. Touchdown, Bills, in snowy Buffalo. Oh, as they're just going to make, oh, no, no. Come on, team, don't do this to me. They're going for it. They get it. They're going to score, right? They're going to score. There's no way. <sighs> Frustrating, but we're going to have to go drive down this football field again. Uh, this play probably is a pretty solid play, it seems. Allen takes it. Cooper. Underneath. Very solid game. Oh man, I just forgot to call timeout. And so much time went off the clock. 
I think this play is going to go to Stefan Diggs right here. Davis up the seam. That was almost intercepted. Davis, I don't know what that was, but that was some bad catching ability, I guess you could say. There from him, like he didn't really want to catch it. Cooper has separation and gets downfield, and it looks like we're going to win this football game if we can make a last-second field goal. Josh Allen is in the zone. Pretty dang nice. So, I think we're actually going to run a read option here. Get a few yards. I'm audibling it to a inside zone play. So, Chiefs don't quite have the D. Kareem Hunt falling forward. Going to wait a little bit. To like five seconds probably. Maybe four. All right, timeout. Bills. CPU kicking a game-winning field goal on the line. And it's good. I just hit myself in the head, pumping my fist as we beat the Chiefs 20-17. to Let's go to the AFC Conference Championship. Look who it is in the AFC Conference Championship. It's my favorite team, the Cleveland Browns. I'm rooting for the Bills right now. It's a video game. Aziz Ojolari has Superstar X Factor, which is interesting to me for sure. But let's hop in. Here we are in the game. Minute 42 left. I'm going to let the CPU do the rest. And we have 35 seconds. Don't allow a touchdown. Our defense held. And the Buffalo Bills are headed back to the Super Bowl. See you there. Here we are in the Super Bowl facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I would like to see some dev increases first and foremost. Uh, I'm not. I I think yeah, Ben Cooper already had star. Now I think about it. Uh, none on offense, defensively. Uh. I'm going to be honest, uh, Long and Wiley maybe? I don't know if they already had it, but maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Uh, let's go Hop in Hill against the Bucks. 